Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I must say your customary blessings. Blessed art thou, Adonai Allah, you, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Allah, you. So in the words of your Torah in our mouths and in all the mouths of all your people Israel, may we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you. <coughs> Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you and may he be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Isaiah 27, 6 through 28, 13. In the days to come, Jacob shall take root. Israel shall bloom and put forth shoots and fill the whole world with fruit. Has he struck them as he struck those who struck them? Or have they been slain by other slayers as their slayers were slain? Measure by measure, by exile you contend contended with them. He removed them with his fierce breath in the day of the east wind. Therefore, by his by the guilt of Jacob, <coughs> therefore by this the guilt of Jacob will be atoned for, and this will be the full fruit of the removal of his sin. When he makes all the stones of the altars like chalk stones crushed to pieces, no ashram or incense altars will remain standing. For the forfeited city is solitary, a habitation deserted and forsaken, like the wilderness, there the calf grazes. There it lies down and strips its branches. When its bows are dry, they are broken. Women come and make a fire of them. For this is a people without discernment. Therefore he who makes them will not have compassion on them. He who formed them will show them no favor. And that day from the river Euphrates to the brook of Egypt, Yahweh will thresh out the grain, and you will be gleaned one by one, O people of Israel. And in that day a great trumpet will be blown, and those who were lost in the land of Assyria, and those who were driven out of the land of Egypt, will come and worship Yahweh on the holy mountain at Jerusalem. Ah, the proud crown of the drunkards of Euph Ephraim. And the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley of those overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has one who is mighty and strong, like a storm of hail, a destroying tempest, like a storm of mighty overflowing waters. He has cast down to earth with his hand the proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim will be trodden underfoot. And the fading flower of its glories, glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley, will be like a first ripe fig before the summer. When someone sees it, he swallows it as soon as it is, as soon as it is in his hand. And that day, Yahweh of hosts will be a crown of glory, and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, and a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, and strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. These also reel with wine and stagger with strong drink. The priest and the prophet reel with strong drink. They are swallowed by wine. They stagger with strong drink. They reel in vision. They stumble in giving judgment. For all tables are full of filthy vomit, with no spare with no space left. To whom will he teach knowledge? And to whom will he explain the message? Those who are weaned from the milk, those taken from the beast, taken from the breast, sorry. For it is precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a line, there a little. For by people of strange lips and with a foreign tongue, Yahweh will speak to this people, to whom he has said, 
This is rest. Give rest to the weary. And this is repose. Yet they will not hear. And the word of Yahweh will be to them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. That they may go and fall back and be broken and snared and taken. Blessed art thou, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Brukata Adonai Eloheinu, Malak, Alo, Mashinatu, Lana, Tredamet, Vaishye, Alom, Nata, Betekenu, Brukata Adonai, Natin, Hatra.